Alright, so a few days ago I got this notification that kind of got me a bit excited. Uh, we have noticed that Fiodify 3 moved from its beta release to basically what I, what I can say is an official release as far as I can see. If we look at the GitHub page um, repository here actually, We'll notice that the latest version here is at 3.0.0 so if you look at the release you'll see that it moved well you got the titan there but it moved from beta 0.15 which is a pre-release to the official release and it's saying that it's still remaining on here and we also still have to use the vilify at next in order to actually it's install it I guess in a view 3 project um, when I came here just now um, the excitement kind of dropped because I noticed that um, it's still saying this is we still have this message I'm assuming that this is because it, it has not been updated just yet because for the next dot .vidify.js.com the instructions are actually here on how to do the installation so for this video I think um, what I'd like to do is to actually attempt to install this following these instructions may try to do it if we have enough time with a normal view view 3 app and see how it goes but I guess it's because the documentation hasn't been fully updated just yet but I guess this is the official release so let's go ahead and try and see what it looks like so the instructions that they're giving us is that we should use and first of all I need to see the Intel projects YouTube and this is a view project uh, we can go ahead and do a yarn create beautify and it's pretty cool this new way of doing it uh, so it's not that you're just adding it to a project you're pretty much building out a whole bit of five project which is kind of awesome I don't really have a problem with that I kind of like it so far all right, so we're gonna call this beautify three uh, view three, I guess. And do we use TypeScript? Not for this one. We're gonna leave it yarn definitely. And that was it. That was pretty, pretty quick and pretty simple. I actually really like that. Um, I'm not really a hundred percent sure of. Well, most likely it's going to be a view application or not necessarily anything else because um it's built up on view i'm not sure i haven't really checked so much whether or not you can actually create use it in other pr um frameworks i've never really checked that it's something that i probably should do all right so there we go uh it has been created and that was very quick as well well quick enough uh, if I ls we only have like the projects that we've been working on so far so I'm going to go ahead and cd into beautify 3 view 3 and we're going to go ahead and look at all that they would have given us and it is pretty much as far as I can see a default um, view app with well view view 3 app so let's cat what is inside the package at JSON and you can see that we have view 3.2.38 we have vidify 3.0.0 and um i also got the md slash fun um install by default that we also have vit which is really nice a really nice plus to this thing here so we're using vit for that that's pretty awesome and everything else um i think i would like to ls what's so inside of source and we have the app that view the main at um js so it's pretty much the same thing these are stuff that i believe i had showed you guys before so if we ls you know it's pretty much the whole setup from this is pretty much the whole setup from from creating a beautify well a view three project and we're just adding beautify to it um, so that's pretty awesome and again we can use this method first to install it in a view three project so let's go ahead and actually start this 
and see what it looks like so I'm gonna clear this out and do a yarn uh, dev was it and see what we get and look how quick that was if I click and open so here we go we have a awesome beautify 3 project with view 3 so now some of the projects that have been like we've been kind of holding back because of beautify not being able to support view 3 can now be updated finally um, as you can see here i think i may actually look at how we could um install this in an existing view 3 project as well so i'll probably have a look at that so that's pretty much it for this video here thanks for watching and uh this is pretty awesome we now have vidify 3 support for or view 3 uh our view.js version 3 apps at this point so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one